Hello there and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me today. And this spotlight is going to cover the Combat Robots Overhaul Mod. This is a fairly new mod uh, within the last week, but it caught my eye. I think it's very cool. So I think this adds, and the intention of this mod is to add a bit more usability to the Combat Robots. And Vanilla, they're pretty cool, they can be useful, but they are fairly limited in my opinion, and obviously other people's opinions in their use. Uh, so this adds uh, kind of an interesting behavior to them. Now I will note, it is, again, fairly new. Uh, the dev is working on some stuff to make it better. It's a little wo wonky right now due to how it handles movement with the robots and their like control behavior. Uh, the dev, again, is working to make that better. Uh, but let's get into it. So this doesn't add new robots, but it overhauls the current ones. Uh, so we have our three, we have defender unit capsules, uh, sentry units, which is what the uh, distractors used to be. And then we have the destroyer units. And they actually have uh, pretty different behaviors than they did, uh, you know, than they do in vanilla. Uh, now, before we actually demonstrate these, uh, I wanna cover a few settings because you can tweak some settings here, which are pretty important. So the startup option here is you can just enable vanilla robots if you want. Um, so you can just enable and disable that. It's off obviously by default. Uh, and then here's some settings uh, in here. So the max base defense radius um, we'll get into, but that's basically how far away from the base some of these robots can go. Uh, and then these are entities to exclude um, from being defended. Uh, it, so the, the default for this is just that they don't, defend each other basically anything you put in here is going to be excluded you could get rid of these but i think it makes sense to just have it be default uh, the sentry patrol area size is the patrol area size of sentry units which we'll explain here shortly and then the destroyer attack signal delay uh is i don't know if that's in ticks or seconds i'm going to say seconds um and then uh, that will make more sense as we get into it. And then defender distance is how far away defenders space from each other when they're following you. So let's get into it here. Um, all the robots unlock with just the first combat robot technology uh, is something that just this mod changes. Uh, and in addition to that, they are a little bit cheaper to make. However, they only throw one robot. Uh, in vanilla, they throw each capsule throws multiple robots out uh, to kind of balance this even though they've been made a bit cheaper uh, they only throw one uh, one actual unit out per capsule okay so what are the differences here uh, so the defender unit capsules uh, these use um, so these kind of have a, a few possible um, options so the maxima so uh, the defender capsule um, basically you can either have it follow the player, as it would in vanilla, or you can have it defend the base. Uh, and there's a quick toggle down here, actually, uh, to have it follow the player or just kind of defend the base. It's off right now, so it's defending the base. And that's this guy up top. You can see he's kind of just patrolling. And, uh, it, you know, this, this is what that setting was for, like, how many tiles away from the base they can be. Um, I don't entirely understand it. I, I've played around with it. My, my understanding is maybe it's just once it gets farther away than the amount you set, that it won't, uh, it just will kind of like go inactive or, um, cause it, you know, it still has its throw radius. You know, you, you can't like throw it out here. Um, so you would still have to throw it and then you could leave. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure the distance on that. I just left it default. As you can see though, it's not following me. I'm way over here, it's patrolling over there. Uh, and then this guy over here is the sentry unit. And it has a very similar behavior to the first option of this one. The sentry unit is purely just for guarding an area. Uh, they go to guard a very small area, and uh, as you can see, they do kind of go inactive a little bit. I think this may have to do with either performance uh, reasons or uh, just due to the movement behavior, which I mentioned is a little wonky right now until the dev does it. But uh, this guy is just defending uh, a certain area here. And uh, the sentries will never follow you. So, so these guys, if I throw these out, uh, you know, I can throw it in an area, and again, that's what that one setting was for, for the size of area it will defend. Uh, so if I throw this here, it will just patrol these areas. So these can actually act as kind of mobile uh, turrets, in a sense. Uh, they never expire as well, is another change the mod adds. Uh, obviously, they don't have a ton, a ton of health, so they will die fairly easily. They only have uh, 100 health, you know, compared to a, what a turret has. Um, so, but, but they can be uh, kind of act as 
turrets in a sense because they will just defend an area which is nice and then this one uh, you can actually toggle the follow option on after it's been thrown and it, it will act a little bit wonky from what I tried um, it may jump around a little bit be a little confused but it, it will start following as you can see it is now following me so it went from not following me to guarding an area to now following me so you can actually kind of take these from one area to another which is another difference between uh, the sentry ones and the defenders is since you can have these follow you like he was up there obviously I could toggle this off and uh, it will now stay in this area so you can kind of just move them if you want from one area to another which is pretty neat uh, and then or you could just have them follow you you know like normal just always have them follow you uh, since they never expire that could be kind of nice some permanent defenses around you and then lastly and i think probably my favorite is the destroyer capsule and i think this is the best change because this is what i would hope and kind of intuitively think that they should do in vanilla to begin with uh, these will actually seek out and destroy discovered enemy nests uh, which is kind of what you would think they maybe would do anyway, like in vanilla. They don't, obviously. But uh, so these guys, if we throw them out, they have some nests I placed down here, which theoretically should count as being discovered. It is in our, uh, you know, kind of found area, but we'll see here. So if I place these out, again, they only throw out one per. And uh, we may have to wait a, a few seconds. You know, it said 10. I would assume that's in seconds rather than ticks, uh, because ticks is. There's 60 ticks in a second, so it's obviously more than that. Um, and there, there they go. So it looks like about 10 seconds. And again, the movement is a little wonky, but they are heading off. They they are on a mission, and they are going to this base on their own. Uh, I'm moving just so we can see it, but they are moving independently of me, and they will go and attack the bases. And this is really, really cool. Uh, again, you know, not a ton of health, so they certainly could die fairly easily. I mean, these are just small biters, and you already saw this guy. <laughs> it only has 120 health. Um you know, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't know that there's a limit to these. The mod didn't say there was. Um, I, I don't see anything that would indicate that. So, I mean, you could just throw out a bajillion of them. Um, I don't know if they'll move. It, it looks like they maybe will move separately. I don't know if they'll all group up and move. Uh, again, there was no information on this. I would assume they kind of just move separately. So, if you want them in a group, or maybe they'll just stay in a group, depending on... Uh, how you threw them uh, but you can see they're all cut so they're all kind of generally moving together uh, in in this general direction it looks like uh, and heading towards this one so this was the closest base I would assume the other ones died so they're gonna go finish the job here uh, as you can see you know take a couple worm shots or one worm shot from a bigger worm and they'll be dead uh, as you can see you know they are getting kind of wrecked here uh, because the, the movement again is a bit silly uh, but uh, you know if you had enough of them, they would probably be able to take this on. Worms may be a bit of an issue. Uh, but anyway, I think that's a very cool change to the to the robots. I think, especially for the Destroyer, it makes a lot more sense for what they're kind of named and what you would think they would do. And uh, that's the mod, guys. I thought it was really cool. Uh, I think some great uses, uh, even aside from the Destroyer, these kind of mobile turret options for these sentries and defenders, I think is really neat um, to just defend your base with as well. And you don't have to keep filling them with ammo or anything, obviously, which is another advantage from turrets. Uh, but there you go. That's going to do it. Link in the description to the mod portal page where you can check it out and keep up with the progress and such. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave them down below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.